Jay Massey is a full-time real estate investor. He's an entrepreneur. He also teaches people how to find deals, raise capital for real estate investments. Meeting Jay Massey in person, you'd think he's just a regular guy. He's got jeans and a t-shirt on and a pair of sneakers, but he's built up a multi-million dollar empire. I hope you do have an empty notebook because it's going home filled. Jay gives back so much value that I never seen. Now, at, at this moment, when I'm looking at the kitchen, things are going through my head. You want to be friends with him, and he treats you like you're the only person in the room, even though it's for the benefit of everybody. This is how, when you ask yourself, how does Jay do it? This is how. He tells people that they have to take action, and they have to take action now. I took the action, and the results have paid off. What happens when the marketplace understands who we are and how we go out there? Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Hopefully things are going well. Uh, I am glad that you guys have decided to come back yet again. For those of you who have not yet met, hi, my name is Jay, CEO of Cashflow Diary. And today we're doing something that we get to do for the first time and more exciting uh, for me is that we it's the first time we have like literally have ever done it this way. So I am very, very excited to to bring to you uh, our first training day. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, it, it, I'm excited about it. I don't know if you are. Here, here's what that means. Here's what that means. For those of you who don't know, which is all of you, uh, what it simply means is that at the bottom of the screen right now, what you're going to see is you're going to see cashflowdiary.com forward slash ask ASK. And when you go there, uh, you have the opportunity to ask a question, details, and maybe sometimes some follow up questions. But if you ask a really, really good one, we have a whole bunch of questions. We invite you to come live so that we can talk about your question in detail and get the answers that you need so that you can move many, many steps forward. So I'm excited to do it. And I also uh, want to make sure that we welcome all the new people as well. So if you are here for the first time, do us a favor, go ahead and type new in EW in the chat, uh, because that would be greatly appreciated. And also know that at the end of the day, the goal for cash flow diary uh, for us what we do is we help you become bigger better better entrepreneurs and i think really important to understand is i have no idea where these questions are going or coming from and it 
doesn't matter, <laughs> which is part of the fun, I guess, in my case. So what, what, what we're going to do is uh, I want to introduce you to none other than, there we go. I have Inez Lawson. You know what? That's fun. I didn't even check to see if I've got her, said her name right. I, is it, it, it is Inez. Did I get it right? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's yes. Inez. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good, 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 good. And uh, she, because of the miracle of technology, we can, you know, do this from just about anywhere, as you guys now know. So she's uh, looks like she's in her car, which is great. Here's why I say it's great, because you don't have to have a whole bunch of things already specially done in order to make your business work. You just have to have a willingness to be in business and a desire to go out there and serve people. So um, Inez, I'm glad that you're here. Thanks for your questions. I have no idea where this is going, but hey, right now I am here for you and I would love uh, to hear what it is that you you have uh, for us today. Okay, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. I do have questions and I, maybe I should share the scenario first. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, so um, with uh, one of my properties, this one's in Vegas and there's one, two, three, three, four. there's four bedrooms. However, downstairs, there's a huge empty room. And then when I bought it, the garage was also converted to a garage studio. It was converted to a one bedroom studio with a kitchen, a bathroom with a shower and a little bedroom. And it also has its own entry door. So I'm really trying to figure out how to maximize that. My question is, I've been advised different ways. Should I do rent out each door? Because I actually could have six doors, six rooms. Or should I rent out the whole house, offer the whole house? Or what's the third one? Uh, the doors, the house, or um, just... I'm just trying to figure it out, really, <laughs> really. Like, do I do I do more so the the short term rental? How do I go about doing it, really? Got it. Totally understood. And I love how I, I love the fact of how complicated this is as a, as a first go. So this is that I'm actually excited about that. I'm like, okay, cool. So this is like you know, because you just never know. Now um, I have some questions, uh, okay. a couple of suggestions, and m most importantly. Um, I, I just need to some, a little bit more background. Now, when you said uh, house, you mentioned Vegas. So I'm assuming it's in Las Vegas. Is it Las Vegas proper or is it like Henderson or somewhere like that? You well, that's, know, that's the first actually, thing we have to address. It's actually Las Vegas and it's okay. close. I, I have it listed on Airbnb and I think the map says 13, let's see, 14 minutes from the stratosphere, something like that on that okay. end of the strip. Okay, got it. All right. So now um, one of the most important questions that I have to just ask, uh, who is it that when you envision your perfect customer, your ideal customer, the person who you would enjoy serving, mm -hmm. tell me about um, uh, him or her. I would enjoy serving corporations, nurses, um, if possible, longer term stays. I thought families, but it has a swimming pool. I forgot that part. It has a swimming pool. So I, that's another question later about the liability. So I, 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 an adult, you know, more so business people or people who are transitioning in terms of moving. A lot of people are coming to Vegas and sometimes they need a place to stay. I had a lady that did call me, but she had five dogs. So I wasn't quite ready for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Multiple pets are tough. I've, I've, we, we've done up to two and, and sometimes what people call a pet. Mm, interesting. Yes. And I love least. dogs, but that, that one, I just thought about yeah. the cleaning and the maintenance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, told, I, I would agree with that. Multi, uh, more than two pets makes it very, very challenging. Now you said nurses. Um, how close are you to the nearest hospital? That I am close. I ha I actually have okay. a few on me. Yes, I think is um, there's there's actually more than one. So okay, good. Is yes, it less? Well, good. let me. When I say close, I'm hoping that it's within two miles. Is that accurate or oh, close? Probably not quite that close. Okay, okay yes. got it. Mm -hmm. 
So typically when we're going for a, a, a play around a hospital or uh, whether it be for the medical service providers or someone staying at the hospital or outpatient, that type of situation, we typically want to be within two miles uh, of the hospital. Outside of that range, it gets a little bit more challenging um, for either one of those groups. Does that make sense? Yes. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you still won't get a nurse from time to time. I'm saying if it's not within that two mile radius, you don't necessarily want to make that the target market, your goal, okay. if, that, if that case, because there's many other ways that we can play this game. Gotcha. Um, OK, so now you said corporations and you said business people. I heard a distinction, but but I'm but I want to understand what you mean by the by because there's a difference in it between corporations and business people. And I would love to know what you mean by that. Uh, sometimes uh, there's a lot of corporate living, a lot of people who rent corporate housing mm -hmm. out in it's a lot. Also, there's a lot of business people that just come through for conferences. Yeah, um, but, but you know, that. because Vegas is so big for conferences. So I'll even do that. Um, I thought about renting it out to, you know, when they come for the conference and having the whole house. The NASCAR may come, the soccer team may come. Uh, a different, so many different venues come through, uh, different people, different, you know. Got it. Now, do you have any of those connections to those larger organizations already? Mm, I no? do not. I okay, do not. that's fine. No, I'm also then... referrals because a friend of mine does, uh, he rents to NASCAR right now. And so sometimes in other oh. different teams that come through. So when I told him if he doesn't, he's unable to accommodate them. You right. know, let me know. <laughs> yeah, no, that 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 that's exactly you totally picked up on exactly what I was thinking. So, yeah, that's perfect. Um, we've done this a lot with well out here. It's a lot of uh, swim teams, gymnastic teams, karate teams, that that type of thing. And yes. that that can go over very well. We've also had the uh, privilege of working with the NFL uh, as well, uh, simply because, yeah. you know, between training camps and all these types of things. So that what you're saying is. Bang on, 100%. Now, because what I'm getting is that when you say corporations, you're talking about the organization itself possibly being the co uh, customer versus someone who just happens to be traveling on business, they, they themselves making the reservation. That is the Correct. distinction I'm hearing. Is that accurate? Yes, yes. So Perfect. I can do both. And I'm glad you brought up the teens because it's really big right now with the Raiders. You know, they just built a new stadium. Got so, it. No, I did not know. I'm not a football person. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't know that. Uh -uh. <laughs> you got to love those Raiders. So, got it. Um, well, somebody does. I somebody know, does. <laughs> so, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm in Oakland today, but I'm heading to Vegas. So, I say that to say, I'm glad you brought that up because I have another three bedroom townhome and I bought that as an investment. And that's by the tr Raiders training camp. Okay. Literally, and at the townhome. So the, when you say townhome, here's what I think. I hear um, you. It's we. It is a, a multiple level structure where when you go inside, there are stairs that are also internal. Is that accurate? Correct. Where you can go up and down. All right, perfect. Yes. All right. So three bedroom townhome. And is this also in Vegas? Yes. Okay. And are the two locations near each other, or would we have to operate them essentially as Two completely separate locations. Two completely separate because okay. the townhome's in a, a new development. And just to kind of set the tone, and that mm. one is one minute away from the training camp or two minutes away. But the house, it's on another side in another area. And it's not, it's it's just in a, I say, a, like, what is the correct way to say it? Um, the middle class, you know, just the middle regular area. Sure. You know, not not a new development, not okay, high understood. end, not low end, you know, just yes. Now, is the townhome in I'm assuming the townhome is subject to an HOA? Yes. OK. Have you looked at the CCNRs? Yes, I looked at them. And um, what did I they say? There's a, there's a 30 day rule for the town, even though everybody's breaking them. Not that I would. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> but I there's understand. a 30 day. There's a 30 day stay. You mm -hmm. can, it's, it's okay. 
Yes, yeah, no, possible. that's that's exactly what I figured. So I just wanted to make sure. So I I, I will definitely advise a, a, with the townhome along mm-hmm. those lines. Um, now, when you said uh, the townhome was three bedroom, is it one bed down, two bed up, or or something different? Three up. Three, three up? upstairs. Okay. Mm-hmm. But there's a half bathroom downstairs. Understood. And then when you so then there would be room for the the living room area if you will um is it big and is it one of the com- like open living dining room or is it living den or with the dining room separate no it's all open it's just one big room even the kitchen Perfect. overlooks the living room and you know okay the so then your it's kitchen like your cabinets are flush against the, the the one of the exterior walls then yes so that you perfect okay i like that you because you can do a lot with that and um i'm assuming then you when you walk in say with the townhome based upon what you're telling me i walk in the door i can probably see straight back out the back door then yes just about yes straight to the garage perfect. it's just a little washroom but yes it's just like bam as soon as you all right perfect it. Like it. I like it. Yeah, well, that's close. To, there's a there are a number of types of floor plans that I absolutely prefer because of how the guests can use them. And you're describing one such. Uh, that, okay. That's why I was getting a little excited. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's good. Now, does the I'm assuming, but I don't know the the house. Does it also have a washer and dryer? Yes. Perfect. And then are either of the washer and dryers the. uh <laughs> The larger commercial, because you are thinking about again uh, teams and um, larger the the larger okay. groups. Okay, no, they're just the regular washer and dryer. Got it. So mm-hmm. make a note of that because okay. if especially if we're going down the team route, right? Who everybody's stinky uniforms, you know? Uh, that's all Perfect. I'm going to say. It's going to be a bunch of stinky uniforms. Woo! Gotcha. Mm. And yeah, yeah. And you don't want that. OK, so he, here's uh, a couple of things that are going through my head. The uh, and well, here's a general rule. The most profitable way to run every and any location is to um, is is by room. All right. By room is by far the most profitable way. That is like period. However, <laughs> when you do it by room, you create an additional management issue. Correct. Right. So that that can well, we've had situations to where uh, we have a student who turned a, I think it was a seven or maybe eight bedroom house into like thirty two bed hostel, and it, he survived for about a year, but it was very intense management, and that that was the part that's like, you know what, I, I can't do this. I'm like, yeah, I understand. You've gone through it, and it's intense management because you have you have the potential of having unrelated individuals sharing a common space in this particular case on the house uh the area that's downstairs and does each bedroom have its own bathroom or is there a common bathroom as well it's a common it's it's one bedroom has its own bathroom the bathroom yeah. the bedroom downstairs has its own bathroom and then mm-hmm. the studio the, mm-hmm. the garage has its own mm-hmm. bathroom, but two bedrooms mm-hmm. share one bathroom, just two. Okay, cool. Then you said something that I was hoping for. Uh, so it sounds like the garage part could have its own separate entrance, yes? Yes. And, and, and it actually has two. What do you mean? It has There's two, two entrances for the for the garage by itself. Yes. That are yes. Okay. And so to I could be in the studio and be one hundred percent self contained without disturbing anyone in the house. I can take a shower. Can uh, do is it do I have a kitchen kitchenette uh, at least? Yes. Perfect. Yes. All right. That makes sense. So that's going to be easy. And then you mentioned the one, two, three, four. There was the downstairs part. Cause you it made it sound like the downstairs it could also be separate, but but I'm I just gotta be clear that if that's the case, then you would need do you actually have a kitchen downstairs and upstairs? I do not. I thought about putting okay. a refrigerator and a microwave down there because actually it has its own door too. Okay. It, ha- it has so, its own door to go outside. Got it. And okay, so perfect. So in order for you to execute that, you're going to need not only a separate entrance, but you're going to also need the it's the separate 
additional services like can I prepare food in some way? This is usually where it falls apart, depending on the floor plan. Um, but it can it can work. You just got to be we got to be really, really uh, aware of to whom we're serving. And we're going to get to that in just a moment, meaning okay. the when it comes down to it, if you're going to have that separate entrance, the floor plan has to lend itself to make sure that no one party feels like the other party or is in a situation in which there's a resource that they need, like a kitchen, kitchen sink, dishwasher, I don't know, something of that nature that is only accessible by interrupting the other because that creates a, an interesting dynamic in terms of the experience. If each party can be completely solely separate, then mm -hmm. fine. But, which is why I'm kind of excited about your the, the studio. I think the studio right now, what I'm thinking is this is more of a three listing house uh, than, than, than anything else. And I'll explain what I mean is you have a five, you have a five bedroom, you have a one bedroom, and then you have a six bedroom. Does that make sense? Yes. That is how I am seeing it at this moment based upon what you're telling me, because uh, I, I, the other concern is downstairs. If it only has, you said there was one bedroom downstairs and the other three were up, right? Yes. Do you happen to have like one of those? Okay. Got it. it. It would, you would, do you happen to have one of those large, um, bonus rooms at all upstairs? Something that could function as a living room upstairs. Oh. No, I know you mean like that little loft space. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I do not. It's just three bedrooms, okay. and that's it. I almost could put a yeah. door there, so they have their own area, though. That, that and so okay. So now, if we yes, once we get to modifying the floor plan, if that's where we're going, well, here's what I am communicating. Um, you would want to create some sort of living room area, like a den type of thing, a place where you could okay. hang a TV and a couch upstairs as well that would be the that would be the next thing uh usually the most difficult part though when we're dealing with this is locking off the top from the bottom um meaning they're, they're usually you in a case of stairs you would want a door at the bottom and a door at the top in in the okay. most secure situations and if that's okay. also not possible then again we're back to and it's okay you know you have a five uh five bedroom and then a one bedroom and then a six bedroom uh, so that you could have all of it. Now, the good news is um, you, your capacity is, is, is good. If you're going to go down the corporations route, specifically the sales and business people, that type of thing, um, I would want you to consider very strongly having, because this is one of the things that uh, I work with our designer to make sure happens, is that we take our di dining room areas and position them so that they also can then uh, double as the presentation slash lecture slash team meeting area. And we do this uh, now, typically, in my case, I'm taller than normal. I know I look very tiny on the screen, but taller than normal. So we tend to use higher um, dining room tables. So not the not the low stuff, but we're talking counter height uh, in a lot of cases. And and we, we do our best to make sure that the chairs are beyond comfortable. What we also will do is use a series of glass whiteboards, uh, if you will, so that, again, when the glass whiteboard isn't being used as a presentation, it doesn't like make the place look horrible. But when it is time for the sales leader or the coach or whomever to do their thing, they can gather around the dining room table and it's comfortable for them to do so. Everybody can face and easily see what it is that's there. Now, in the most perfect, now this it depends on the wall space that you've got. You can put the, the uh, there's a particular TV that we tend to recommend. We'll talk about that in a second. But the TV... Okay. goes right next to it because now they would have the ability to use something like an iPad or whatever it is that they're drawing on, project that over to the TV, as well as having the whiteboard for additional supplemental mm -hmm. last minute type of stuff. So they could literally run a uh, Apple, uh, I was going to a keynote and or PowerPoint or whatever, 
and mm -hmm. also draw, which allows the salesperson to be able to, or whomever, to um, actually just be effective at instruction in that environment, as opposed to what they normally have to do is all crowd around a small piece of paper <laughs> and they're trying to talk and explain to the team uh, or to the to whatever to whomever and whatever is going on. So we when you are going down that corporate route or that team route, that is a feature that is often overlooked, but definitely something that I know personally that they appreciate. In fact, we receive messages from time to time um, and, and here's how you achieve it. And, and it's a neat little hack, but um, having a um, Apple TV. We so many times a corporation will say, uh, cause we'll ask them, Hey, why did you choose us? We saw, cause it's in the photos uh, that you had an Apple TV and that was going to make it easy for us to do a presentation. So we don't have to try to mess with the back of a computer. Cause normally when we do this, we're trying to, or sorry, mess with the back of the TV and we don't even know how to do it all, but we know how to connect to Apple TV. It was like, got it. Right. Perfect. And that's why it's there is, is to put all of those things together. So, um, I like the Vegas house as a five one, meaning a five bedroom on one, um, one bedroom separate. And you can run that as two separate calendars. And then you have the capacity, obviously, to then run that as well uh, as an entire house. The last consideration or next consideration, I should say, is all around, um, well, uh, there's a couple of things. Because I'm, I'm now I'm thinking about the kitchen. When I say I'm thinking about the kitchen, what I mean is uh, food, food preparation, uh, etc. Again, because I'm thinking about who it is that you're talking about. You're talking about your team. You're talking about your uh, NFL players. I'm talking to uh, the corporations. So, and again, you you may not have this right now, and that's fine. But I would look into how you can uh, put together a. a I would say some additional food delivery services, not just like prepackaged ways to have the refrigerator filled on arrival, right? Uh, so that that they because again, we're just trying, we're just solving problems. Just think about it. If you're yeah. traveling as a team, all this type of stuff, at some point somebody's gotta go get groceries and food and blah blah blah, and that's a thing. <laughs> that's a thing. And mm -hmm. if you can offer convenience, this is where this is what we're tapping into is offering something that could be convenient, then mm -hmm. you, you have a way of making it work. Um, mm -hmm. On the corporate and NFL side, what I would look into is a chef of some kind who can come and actually prepare food. These are all things that you can have as additional items. And then if in some cases you're going to mark up the entire thing, or sometimes you mark up the service, or sometimes you just mark up the product, you can figure that out one way or the other. But what I'm saying is you have an opportunity here. Um, I think you have an opportunity here to make a, a very, very significant uh, amount of, of income, should you just go the extra miles to make sure that these small, that these seemingly like, innocent, don't matter things are actually covered. Right. And then lastly, especially on, on the house, how, how many square feet is that? Oh, I had that for you. I want to okay. take six, is it 16 or 1800 square, 1848, I think. Okay. All right. That's fine. Or maybe, so, it may be 16, it may be 1648 without the garage, I think. Okay. No problem. Without the converted garage, no. So the, the next thing, and probably, honestly, one of the most important things, especially if we're going to be using a configuration like a 5.1, is uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to ensure that we get uh, the proper networking architecture inside the house. What I mean is just making sure that your Wi-Fi not only reaches all of the corners of every bit of the house, and because you're telling me that you have a pool, you're going to want to make sure that the signal is strong out there but you're going to want to because there is the possibility of having two completely unrelated parties simultaneously on the on the premises you're going to want to put yourself in a situation in which they have a separate network that 
to be able to attach to. You d- you don't want to put yourself in a situation in which one can access somebody else's stuff because they're sharing the same network. Okay. Now, and, and if you don't know how to do that, uh, there's tons of people out there, who, and it's it's not mm-hmm. complicated, but it's just something that I'm thinking about as we go through that process. Uh, okay. Because reliable Wi-Fi, <laughs> reliable strong Wi-Fi from a business from everybody complains about it. Okay, and um, it's something that you're going to want to consider. And I'm going to give you one more technical, hyper technical uh, um, piece on this network is you, you're going to want to make sure that it has uh, <laughs> a, enough upstream and downstream connections to handle. I'm going to go with somewhere on the order of 30 or more devices, because if you're if this place gets filled with people all at once, that's probably going right. to be really, really close to the number of devices that uh, are going to be on the network at once. So this definitely means you're buying the best level of service. But right now, I'm more concerned about the router be- that 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 gets purchased because you 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 can get the right level of service, but get the wrong router, and then now all of a sudden, three of the kids can get their cell phones on, and and the others can't, and something happened, and they're upset, and that creates the experience. The main thing to be thinking about as I'm looking through uh, who it is that you're serving I, again, most of everything that I'm saying is related to that because had you said different people. <laughs> It would be different. And it is so that their experience, because that's what they're rating you on, is the experience right. that they have at your real estate. So that that's really what it comes down to. Go ahead. Okay. Should I be ca- targeting another, especially with COVID going on? It's been really funny, you know, in terms of people coming and things like that. Should I yeah. be targeting another market in terms of just every, you know, people just guest everyday guest i would tell you uh, here's who i think you, and again it's going to depend on some proximity but here's who i believe you could earn the you could prop not only earn a very very different a decent profit with especially right now but also solve what is a an insanely large problem that most people aren't even aware of well they'll be aware of it now <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just that the there's two groups out there that are being significantly underserved at this particular moment. One is the uh, senior citizens. So we, we there is a situation with COVID, COVID outbreaks in in senior uh, facilities. You have a situation in which now they have a place, a they have a way to separate grandma, grandpa, and and especially if grandma right. and grandpa are both still around, they have a way to separate grandma and grandpa from the rest of that, and their worker uh, or or healthcare provider can still stay on site mm-hmm. if need be. So you you kind of have right. the best right. of every world in that situation because oftentimes we we can't offer the ability for the healthcare provider to also stay there. You have a place that's big enough right. to where not only can the healthcare provider stay there, but they have their own little one bedroom garage place to go hang out. Right. And right. compared to the price that they're currently paying for a lot of the uh, facilities, um, let's just say that you could offer them a discount and you would still earn a very, very significant income. So that's number one. Uh, number two is the and, and this one is also it's just as huge of a need because we get the calls now is understanding that yes covid yes emergencies all of these things are happening but the other emergency that's happening that is a problem uh, is uh, people's houses are still flooding their houses so if the pipes burst uh where are they going to go it is caught. It is. It is a problem. Um, our network is not even big enough to handle all of the calls that w- that that we get. But we. Th- but that's what you know. That's part of what we do, is we do our best. And and the the biggest need is in um, three bedrooms and up. So three bedrooms and up uh, is where the the need really really is. Which is actually what I was going to definitely recommend for the townhome, because. Every every insurance company that we have worked with thus far, uh, all of them have stayed 
at least 30 days. <laughs> there has not been one that has been less than 30 days. And um, insurance companies, rightly, wrongly, whatever, they're the ones that pay. They, like, I thought, like, you know, uh, GSA rates, government rates were, like, exorbitant. But good insurance companies are by far worse. So they they you there's just so much room inside the policies that that they that are there for the accommodation piece because they're used to the hotel and all the food and all the things that it it just works out so much better because now they still have control over their diet they, it's very similar to like they were still at home um and either of these locations would be good for that but i definitely recommend it for the for the town home because of your ccnrs um for sure Okay. Additionally, and then as for, far as, oh, go ahead. Okay. No, no, no. Go. I was asked if it's contacting them. Do I just contact them or to go see them? Oh, okay. Them? We oh, got it. We got a long way to go before we get there. <laughs> okay. So, um, when it the, there's first of all, we we've got to get all of the pieces aligned in in order to be able to present a comprehensive story in terms of who it is that you're serving, how it works, all of your security procedures, because they always the, the amount of information that's going to be requested of you at the beginning is uh, immense. And we just want it to line up with everything else so that it's cohesive and that it's clear. That That's number one. But the, the other thing that I was going to say is when it comes to the townhome, uh, because again, I, I don't know, but how far are you are away from Nellis? Are you within 30 minutes-ish? Uh, the, no, Air, the Air Force Base is, I'm a little bit further down. If anything, the house is closer to Nellis. I, I see. Think, okay. All right. The, no, the, 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 um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, military is where I was going with that. Uh, because okay. typically within a 30 to 45, if you're within 30 to 45 minutes of a base, um, Oh, okay. Yes, that, I am. I am. Is this not that? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's your other market, quote unquote, when we're talking um, needing to be over the 30-day the situation. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what ends up happening is between it. So with the townhome, uh, in between the insurance and in between the military, um, you, 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 <laughs> trust me. Between those two, you, you'll end up needing more locations <laughs> just to okay. serve those those two. So, and and that's really where it comes down to. And and the one thing I do want to stress and, and point out for you and everyone else who happens mm -hmm. to to be listening is um, notice how we did not mention the word Airbnb <laughs> because right. it, it, that's why I keep saying it's a short term rental business not an Airbnb business is because there's a lot of needs and, and there's approximately 65 different use cases. And I think we've maybe covered like six or seven today when it comes down to how you can use your property. But the main thing that I want to communicate is before you market your property uh, to a particular group is that you, your photos, your systems, your, uh, additional services, all of those things, all of the upfront work needs to also match and communicate that, yeah, this, this is something you are prepared to do. Does that make sense? Okay. And that, so that, that's, that's the number one thing that needs to happen up from this business while great. And once operated or once built, the operations does is not overly time intensive. However, the front end work, it can be, right. and that's okay. It's all up front. But once it's done, it's done, and the system is can be put in place. So that, that's where that's coming from. Um, do you have a, another question? Yes. Um, you mentioned about the seniors. I, I have yes. a, another, another property, and it's a manufactured home, and it's a two-bedroom, okay. but it actually could be a three bedroom the reason why i'm saying that the front room is so big where where the dining table is a lot of people convert that to the third room so that property is 1248 square in, in square feet and it's in a senior community but it's a manufactured home it does have hoa 
It's mm. not a mobile home. It's 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 mm-hmm. convert. Mm-hmm. I already I understand. I just had it converted. And okay. um I think there's something there. I have it on the market to sell, but I would need to see I the floor another, plan. I think something's there. Yeah, no, no, you, you, you could be right, but it's the floor plan that I'm having that 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 I need to be able to get a picture of to be able to go. Yeah, I think that can make sense. And okay, and so do you have that? Do you have stairs to get up into there, or no? Steps. Did mm-hmm. you say steps? Yes, I did. I do, I do have steps. That very few steps. Um, Are you willing to put in I'm a ramp though? Get there a ramp. Oh yeah. yes, definitely. I think there's a ramp okay. on the other side, but it was a. It's a basically it's a flip. It's one of the re, you know um, my rehabs. However, I've had that mm-hmm. one for a while because it wasn't mm-hmm. converted, so you know so no one could get an FHA loan. But it's all seniors. You have to, I think, over fifty two, oh fifty two and over community. But I think something's there because so many people ask me to rent it. No, you you're not wrong. I just I'm. I'm at a loss for to help more without like being able to, I can't, I need, I'm trying to create a picture in my head. Like with the house, I've got a picture with the townhome, I got a, I got a clear picture and I'm like, oh, okay, I see how this is structured. It makes sense. So it makes it easy for me to say, Hey, how about this, this, that, and the other, I'm, I don't have a picture yeah. of, cause I've been in a number of manufactured homes, mobile homes, et cetera. And okay. you just don't even like, I would I wouldn't have put that there, but okay. <laughs> okay, well this one, this one I, I agree. I agree. Because um, yeah. I, I've done quite a few manufactured homes. However, to make a clearer picture, this one is just like a two bedroom house. And I'm mean, okay. excuse me, two bedroom apartment. And it's very simple. Okay. You walk okay. in mm-hmm. to the right is a it's a sitting room. Okay. And then to the left is the kitchen. Then you walk down the hallway, and there's okay. a bedroom so to the left. Okay, so it's galley style, the, is what you're telling me. Like yes. I'm walking down. Okay, and got it. There's, Go a bed, there's a bedroom to the left with its own bat, bathroom across the hall, and then next across the hall the or next bedroom. door, or next to it is the uh, right the across, bedroom. right across the right across the door, right across the doorway, literally. So the bedroom. So there's the not a door the in the right. in the big front part where you, the sitting room. There's not a door there, huh? What kind of door? Well, when you so part of what I'm thinking is that with the when I'm thinking of the senior play, I'm always thinking of can the can the worker stay if need be, right? That's what I'm always thinking. And yes. if the worker is going to be able yes. to stay, I want them to have a closed off room that they can stay in, as well. Is that possible? Okay. That's what I was thinking, because in my head, I'm thinking those two bedrooms, uh, those could be mm-hmm. two completely dip, those Again, those two senior people who are staying there. Right. And where does the right. worker stay? I don't know. And that that's what's going through my head. I don't. And that's why I'm asking oh. if there's a door on that front room, because then I'm like, oh, OK, well, then maybe now, obviously, yes, you can use the smaller bedroom uh, for the for the for the uh, health care provider and then the larger bedroom. Uh, for the the person actually receiving service that that yeah that can make sense but now the the other thing that i have questions around um are the um the ducting because in sometimes not all of the ones but sometimes the ones that i've seen the the airflow is not as even so temperature control can become a right. challenge and again I, again i don't know but that's one that's no, one of the bad. things that i'm thinking about what mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay right. someone may be freezing okay. be hot. so that temperature you're correct on that because there's vents I, I have vents in each room but maybe we can modify that but i wanted to say you brought up a very good point there there's a back door and when you walk mm-hmm. in the back door there's a wash there's a washer and dryer with mm-hmm. a little desk area that oh okay almost can be converted to uh, yeah, it's almost like a separate room, an office. It's no. used for office. Yeah, no, I see where you're going. And now, see, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah, that's, that's, now we're getting somewhere. But that's what I'm saying. When you say manufacturers, it's like, oh my God, they could be, you know, 
like I said, they're they're configured in so many different ways. It's kind of hard to go, oh, I know what we can do. Does that make sense? Right. Right. Yeah, that 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 that's really where what what I'm talking about here. So at the end of the okay. day, though, yes, I think at, almost everything okay. can work so long as okay. you start with who do you want to serve? When you start with who do you want to serve? It just becomes, uh, you know, this back and forth question answer situation, uh, thinking about who they are and how they're going to use your your property. Because, again, I could take the same what was it the five uh, bedroom, five one house in the townhome. I could do the same thing and flip it for individuals who are significantly younger or those who are uh, families with with small children or. I mean, there, it just depends, right? And that's the thing that matters. And the and the number one thing that I tend to work with most uh, new students on is don't feel like you have to appeal to everyone. Make sure though, you focus on the person that you absolutely are talking to because those are the ones that you want to resonate with. Because here's the, here's the death of your business. It's all around the review. And if you get reviews, mm -hmm. The reviews I can't stand the most, they say, mm -hmm. great place. I'm like, that's it? That's all you guys to say? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, bro, I've been through so much to try to help you. So you, you, but when you, when you are speaking to a particular individual and that individual can tell, like, that's what I love about uh, a lot of our locations. When the right individual is there, the person that we designed it for gets there, they're like, wow, I can't believe they had this, they had this, they had it. And all of that stuff shows up in the review. And those are the types of reviews right. that your business is built on. That's one of the secrets to making sure that not only that you have high occupancy, but you have what's known as um, high rev par, revenue per available room, rev par, uh, because you, you wanna make sure that your rev par is as high as humanly possible um, at all times right. and it can be but there all of these steps have to be followed they cannot be skipped and they have to be thought through because I've seen people try to copy one of our people and, and and you can't you have to start at the beginning but when you do start at the beginning you find yourself in a situation to where it performs even better than you thought longer than you thought and it becomes easier to manage because all of the systems are designed and, and coalesce around this one idea. And that's what you want to be able right. to communicate. But that starts at the beginning because any particular, right. you give me some swamp land, I can show you how to make that work. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It, okay. it, we can customize it however you'd like. <laughs> and she's like, I got the swamp oh, land too. No, no, that, that would have been right. funny. I got that. That's something close to that, but it's not swamp. But I was gonna run that past you. But that's an oak. That's an Oakland property, and I wanted to put ADUs on the back. Oh, okay, but, yeah, uh, they'll, they'll make all day long. Everybody yeah, yeah, I know. I, I am all over the ADU thing uh, all day long. Every okay. homeowner <laughs> should be all over their ADUs right now. So, uh, man, if I keep talking yeah. about ADUs, every home I'm about to sell a whole bunch of tiny houses. I don't get paid on it. I do not care. Right. ADUs right. all day long. So, because they, oh yeah, man, that should be done. Sense. Yeah. It, it does. And in, in, in the Bay Area, they just really, um, there's a homeless problem. And I, I don't even mean just the homeless, but also corporations. They're mm -hmm. neat, you know, as far as the rents and things like that, there's such a need for more housing. And people are okay with it, you know, as we know, tiny houses things like that. But let me, let me share with you that property. It's a three bedroom. The house itself is only a uh, 1200, about 1200 square foot feet or something mm -hmm. like that, but it needs a major rehab. So I don't know if there's funding for the major rehabs. Oh, that's rehabs, good. You know, there's like always that. funding for the right kind of rehabs. Uh, but, and when right. you say major rehab, that gets me excited because when you say major rehab, not only am I thinking permits, but I'm thinking, well, the floor plan doesn't matter. We can make it whatever we want it to be. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So that one definitely, but this is the value in that one. The lot is 7,642 square feet, which is oh. in Oakland area. That's it's valuable lot. 
Well, <laughs> yeah, it's Lent. Uh, well, do you know what the setback requirements are? Can we, because here's where I'm coming from. Um, one of the, before I go about, like if I'm looking at a, any property, like there was a, there was an old Taco Bell over on PCH um, that's since been torn down. I was looking at purchasing that thing. Uh, and part of the plan was to redevelop it as something completely different. Um, and I was going to keep going, but you know, EPA, then I was like, you know what? Never mind. My point though, is when I have situations to where I have a, a, a piece of property that is not yet, uh, fully occupying the space that it's been given before I set about mm -hmm. to fix the property that's there, I, I back up to ask just, Hey, is is there a better use for this land? Meaning, can I put a duplex on it? Yeah. What about a four? Right. Is, is that possible? I don't know what the density, I don't know the zoning, but you can find out. I Before I would go down that road, it, especially because you said it, it's gonna require a significant amount of rehab anyway. Um, yes. I know that there's a, <laughs> there's a significant amount of money for you to go and build the thing uh, if, if, mm -hmm. if, the the requirements can be met from the lot and that's what i don't know that's the part i don't know but that's the part that you can find yeah. out and i would ask that first i did oh okay good i did and mm -hmm. I did. is I there actually, room or no yes there's actually enough room to put four and i'm trying to use all of that space so oh, go now, friend it depends on what company you go through yes vegas has a company and they deliver their shippings for free in California, Nevada, Arizona, surrounding companies. And there's a box. It's a box house. And it's beautiful. It's nice. There's okay. another company in California. And they're a little, they're more. So the box homes are 50,000. And um, they furnish them and things like that. And they literally de deliver them. And it unfolds in the box. So anybody can put that in their backyard. The second one, and we can, the second one is in California, their homes run, they're a little bit more, they're around 160 to 162,000. They come and build it. And it's more so a oh, manufactured okay. small home. The two bedrooms, of course, are higher in three bedrooms. They go to three bedrooms. The only thing you have to have it a certain amount of square foot, excuse me, six feet or something like that away from your home. And you want to make sure you check your plumbing and your electrical, of course. But my property, all of that qualifies. So I even have, I'm in my backyard and, and I'm sorry, I'm not in that backyard, but I'm in another backyard and I have a shed. I actually could flip my screen and show it, but um, <laughs> you can put those and they're, they're allowing it. They're approving it right now. And then I was Got thinking it. I might can do some kind of rental with those short-term rental with those and have a whole little, I just came from a camp last week and I said, this man, man's not doing anything but doing short-term rental with these cabins. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, cabins. All of us rented cabins, and I was mm -hmm. calculating and looking at it, yes. getting ideas. I was Man, like, you I sound like start me. my own little right. Yeah, backyard. I can't go nowhere. Everywhere I go, it's. I'm like, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That uh, yeah, I know exactly right. how you feel. Everywhere I go. Now, there's something I want to show you because this is actually what I am thinking or what what I see or feel. Okay. All right. Can you do you see the? Okay. Can you see that? You see the iPad right now? Yes. All right, perfect. Yes. So when you're talking, I know you could put four, but here's what I I'm thinking. I'm thinking more like this. Okay. Um, if you will, I'm think. Whoops, I want to get that a little bit more straight. There we go. And I'm thinking more like this, where you can make a. You got two smaller ones here, so this is like you know uh, the the mm -hmm. small. We'll call this a one bed, one bed. And this actually, it, because again, because you have control, it can be a two bed, but also could be, could function, if you will, as two one beds. Make sense? Right. Yes. That's actually, when you're talking, I'm like, I think this is the way to crush that. Because now you could, you've got each one of them individually and then you have all of it collectively. So you could do a four bed thing. You could do a two. You got, you, you just got lots of options with this. And when this way you've got this, this, um, this space right in here can become 
I don't know, whatever you, it needs to become, assuming, and this is assuming that, uh, say, over here, you have uh, adequate uh, parking is what I'm thinking about, because that's that's probably where this might, okay. you know, live or die is around the parking. But that okay. this is kind of what I see in my head, if that if that makes sense. And I'm just like, hmm, I wonder. Yes, and yeah. I think this if you can get close to this, I think you can. Yeah, you got you got something nice. Yes. And then the house is right next to over there. It, this is it right here. I That's really pretty much it and then the actual main house mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah i, I this okay. is that's what i see i think that would crush it to say the least um i don't know there's no i yeah mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> adus all day yeah okay don't get okay. me started <laughs> uh, I, I, every homeowner should whoops every homeowner should be mm -hmm. uh thinking about it uh i just i don't think most don't know. know about it. A lot of people <laughs> do not know. They just don't yet, know. So. You know, but right. And it's so big because uh, the different establishments and the cities, you know, organizations are actually looking to um, they're, they're trying to help the community in the neighborhoods now with providing more housing for people, and, you know, that um, especially with the economy. That's affordable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I I know that it was passed and it was passed out here in L.A. and you know L.A. County and all all the places, but just people just don't know. And if any, right. if there's any place where somebody could use some help with a mortgage, it's L.A. County. You know, uh, but LA. At, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but you know, they just these are entrepreneurial thoughts that you clearly can't turn off, mm -hmm. <laughs> which right. I enjoy. My head is going. I just. <laughs> yes. So everything yeah, that you have out. said, go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, I was I'm like, sorry, why I needed the advisement is that's why I needed the advisement just to really organize and get this going and make sure I yeah, do yeah, it yeah, correctly. Yeah. Cause it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, me. there's a lot of work that we've laid out for you to do. Um, here's what I will also do. I will, um, get my team to get you a copy, not only of the, the video, but we'll also go ahead and get you a copy of the transcript so that in case there's something from a notes standpoint, uh, that, that you need, <laughs> that you just weren't able to write down, et cetera. Uh, right. and then we'll make sure like, uh, cause I was, uh, you did. You couldn't see it because I, I I just didn't show it. But as you were talking, I was just writing a whole bunch of notes as well for myself, so that I could just make sure to follow up on the pieces. And if there's something here, well, I'll make sure to include uh, those things as well. But everything that you have said uh, to me, I'm like, yeah, there's, there's nothing but fertile ground here, um, and uh, and your thought process is in the right place, and you won't. I don't, you'll make less mistakes so long as you start with um, the the process of who is it that I want to serve, mm -hmm. right? Now, um, that it, we're a little bit over the time that I had. However, if you want, what I would say, if you want to find out, if you want to take this understanding, this type of, of, of uh, help further. Uh, that's literally what we do. And 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 in fact, that's actually what I'm going to go do. There's a group of, of uh, operators who are in a very similar situation to yourself. And what I'm going to go do is to help them through their things for the next 90 minutes or so. And mm -hmm. uh, if what I would encourage you to do is to reach out uh, to Jeremy and or Rob, uh, they could either be in the chat or I'll make sure that Mary, I think Mary is who you were connected with, uh, gets you their information. You can kind of go from there. But outside of uh, the recording, the transcript uh, and what we've done today, is there anything else I can do for you today? Well, you know, unfortunately, I see my battery blinking. I don't know how this is like, of course, technical, but no, um, I do have other things. Um, one thing is, should I build a site? So I have like almost a hospitality site for what offering all these homes in place, you know, like some kind of website. Um, also, how to automate my business. Yes. So I do have a yes. question. I want to fire, <laughs> yes. fire myself. Yes. So you know, I want to fire myself and then have this all running, auto, yes. you know, automated, you know. Yeah, I know. That, that's so there's a welcome. lot of things. So I can continue, you know, circle back to me. I would catch up with Jeremy. I would catch up with Rob. 
And you, you are exactly what I, what I talk about all the time. Uh, and this is why I tried to do my best to demonstrate. We model for you um, mm -hmm. what it is, the outcome. What do I mean by that? Uh, we run 24, 24, 30. Uh, anyway, we have a, I have my own portfolio of short-term rentals. And mm -hmm. um, the reason I'm able to do this with you is because the system is set up such that I work an hour a day on that. In fact, I, I will spend, I have spent more time with you today than I will invest all week in my own short-term rental business so that, it, so that we're clear. And that is a seven-figure enterprise. And that's what right. we teach people to create leveraging whatever resources okay. you have or don't have so that you can get there. And yes, it's a lot of stuff, but that's where, that's where it comes down to. So what I would encourage you to do, uh, Mary will get you connected. We'll get you the, 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 uh, what's it called? Uh, the transcript, the video. Uh Oh, and there goes her battery. <laughs> I'm glad she said that. Oh my gosh. Otherwise it's all good. Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. Uh, I don't know if this was helpful for you or not. I have no idea, right? I just know it was fun for me. That, that's what I know. And because of that, I, I, I'm just going to remind you. Here you go. You can go to cashflowdiary.com forward slash ask. If you ask a really good question, the same thing that just happened with Inez, minus the battery, uh, can happen for you. You give yourself a chance by going there. And again, asking good questions, because that's how it got, that's how, you know, this happened. Notice how she was prepared. She has a lot, a lot of questions, lots of detail, things that she had thought through. That's what we're looking for. Because we, Cash Flow Diary, we are here to do one thing. One, help you become an entrepreneur, regardless of where, where you're starting. And yes, we use short-term rentals. Yes, there's real estate involved. Yes, there's going to be new things for you to learn. And no, it won't happen overnight, but it can happen. We're literally a collection of entrepreneurs who are helping other people do what we have already done. With that, I remind you that today at noon Pacific time, we are going to be live in our training area. So we're going to be talking more about, well, well, yes, today we're going to be talking specifically about how to get landlords to say yes, um, especially with all of the, we'll call it COVID uh, changes that are going on. So contextualizing, if you will, how do you do the business now that COVID is here? That's what we're going to be talking about. If you want to join us, by all means, do so. Just click or not. I was going to say click the link below. Well, it is in the post, but you should be able to go to cashflowdiary.com forward slash learn live. Again, that is cashflowdiary.com forward slash learn live. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be back tomorrow, 9 a.m. Uh, as you know, I enjoy this. Hopefully you are too. We look forward to seeing you then. Um, it's been fun talking to you guys today. I look forward to talking to you soon. Until next time.